was very prepared. It is another rainy day here. Yeah, guys. I'm going to go ahead and post the dream I had last night. I had a three-part dream, and this has been a while, a long while since I had had some dreams, besides personal dreams. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and post this up. If I sound tired, I am kind of tired. Alright, um, I had three different dreams last night. Uh, let's see, the first dream, in my first dream I saw my husband giving my stepson $100 for a trade that he had done. I don't know if it, I think it was electronic or something, but I'm not 100% sure, so. Which it was. Excuse me. In the second dream, I had found that I was on a bus, and somehow I didn't know that I was pregnant, and I was about eight months or so pregnant. I do know that the baby was my husband's. I remember telling him about it and showing him a picture of the baby. And I ended up having the baby, and it was a baby boy. And it was also a big baby boy, too, which, if I had to guess, it was probably around eight or ten pounds, which is a pretty big baby. It would be been a pretty big baby for me. Uh, oops, third. third dream of the rapture and the tribulation. This one was my third dream, which was a really interesting one. Um, I had a dream that I was at a picnic in this big park. When I say big park, I mean it was a huge park with my family. My dad, my stepmom, my niece, both my nieces were there. Um, there was a ton of adults there, a ton of little kids there playing. And I just remember the big old field that we were on and playing and stuff. I heard them talking about me, my nieces. My stepdad had said something to me. Or not my stepdad. My stepmom had said something to me. And I got up and walked away from it for a minute. I was like, I love them, but I was hurt for a moment because I don't know what they had said in my dream. For what they said, and I started praying over them. I remember looking around at everyone, the kids, the teenagers, and the adults. And I was, I was standing on the field. like the, the grass was like extremely green. Then I started looking up. I saw a swing swinging by itself. Wait, hang on. I started looking up, and then I looked back down, and then I saw, saw a swing in the distance swaying all by itself, is what it was. And the clouds had looked like rain. Or close to rain. And I ran over and saw my parents that it was time. That the rapture was going to happen at any second. And they said to me, how do you know? Or how do you know that? And I said, because I was told a moment ago, and I was standing right in front of him, and I was telling him, I was like, because cause the Lord just told me a moment ago. And then I looked up. After I looked up, a second later, as I walked over to the field, I ended up, I ended up where I shot up in the sky in an instant. And so did a bunch of the little kids and a bunch of others. And an instant, and everyone dropped what they were doing, and they were all shocked. Even my nieces were shocked. My one niece I was very close with, around this time before I left, I was told by the Lord to pray over her. And so I did. There was like six different demonic spirits that came out of her, like six different ones. As I was praying over her, I had mentioned the six different demonic spirits that were in her. As I prayed over her, I asked the Lord to make her words anointed as she spoke. And as I did, she... And as I did, they had all left her. I named every demon that was in her. I also turned around and pointed at a few people. And I said... And when, when I say I pointed at a few people, I was telling them, like, how are they... How are they going to survive, you know, to be tough to go against the Antichrist? And I was talking about the teenagers that were going to be left behind. Towards the end of the dream, they were trying to get past some cops in a building, and one one of them had caught one of the kids, and he recognized the cop, and the cop recognized the kid, who was about 15, maybe 16. I don't know how he got away from him. The kid did, but he did, and they had to sneak. And this was in the beginning of the tribulation. When I say they had to sneak, they had to... They were getting something in the building where the cops were, and as they were trying to get something, they were trying to sneak to get it in the building. And I guess the cop had found him, or caught him, is what it was, and took him into his office to write some paperwork or whatever. And I guess the cop noticed him, and he noticed the cop, 
and I think one of the things I noticed was the cop said, how many times do I have to do this or something like that. Um, and I don't remember how the kid got away from him, but he did, but I remember, you know, with the teenagers being in it, I remember specifically being like, well, these teenagers, you know, being left behind, I'm like, how are they going to stand against the Antichrist? They're going to have to band together, they're going to have to be tough, they're going to have to have the Lord, you know, the covering over them. And that's to be prayed over. Um, so that was pretty much my dream there. My three dreams. And I'm going to go ahead and post this, and bless you all, and I love you all, and thank you for praying. Rohi's um, over being sick now. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, I haven't really had, like I said, I haven't really had any dreams except for, like, a lot of personal dreams. And I know a few other people I've come across, brothers, sisters, and Christ have, have been saying the same thing. They've been had a lot of personal dreams as well. So, I think it's really, really close. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. Bye-bye.